Hello, it's Ruby and today I am going to be trying on everything in my university wardrobe. So this is actually a video that lots of people have asked about and this isn't a video where I'm actually going to be getting rid of things as I go along because I actually do like everything in my wardrobe. I hope that you find this interesting nonetheless. I've got three a three door wardrobe. All of my jackets, jumpers and smart tops and dresses are hung up here. Then I've got underwear and sportswear and pyjamas, more tops here and bottoms there and shoes at the bottom. So I'm going to start with dresses. First thing is this pinafore dress from Miss Patina. This here is the second pinafore dress. This is again from Miss Patina. This sweater dress, which I like to call my Wednesday Adam dress um, because the collar really reminds me of Wednesday Adams. So my first top is this black one from Bowdoin. This one is actually meant to be like a tight one and it's a size 14, but I actually really like the way this fits me. This top is from Abercrombie and I actually have the same one in three different colors, pink, and this grey and white stripe. This one's my favourite. This top is just a slightly cropped top from New Look. This is my sister's, actually from Brandy Melville. So then I've got this cropped bell bottom sleeve top. I really love the print on this. Then I've got this striped sparkly top from Topshop. Then there's this anchor one which I have had for years and years and years. This is probably my favourite item of clothing at the moment. This is from Miss Patina and it's half jumper, half top. This shirt from Miss Patina, which says, stay curious on it. And then there's a lovely little magnifying glass. And I just love the collar on this. Then we've got this beautiful old fashioned top from Miss Patina again. I have this really simple, um, it's kind of a hanging material. I don't know what kind of material this is, but it hangs, if you know what I mean. I just absolutely adore this shirt, especially the gorgeous lace detailing on the sleeves. Again, this is from Miss Patina. So um, this shirt is from Miss Patina and I actually decided to get a size up with this one. So this is a medium because I think it just looks nicer, slightly oversized. Again, one of my favorite items, this jumper top is very predictably from Miss Patina again and I just love the Sailor Knot um, tie on this top. So this Breton is from somewhere called Isle Essentials and I think of it as my camping shirt. It's something I wear on lazy Sundays. This um, next top is another of my very favourite items. I really love the kind of jumper tops, thin knitwear I love. So this is just um, a polo shirt in thin knit and I got this from H&M for under £10. I don't actually shop at H&M anymore, but when I still did, I wear it all the time. So then this last top, it's like the basic black long sleeve tee from H&M Kids, age 14 plus, And I own two of these. I would say that I wear these tops three or four times a week. It's definitely the thing I wear most often. Okay, now we've got t-shirts. So this first one is from The 100 Club. I, of course, have got my Nana tee, which is Holly Gabrielle's company. Then of course I've got my motivated tea which is from Unjaded Jade Studywear. I also have a Tato tea. This one is by Lucrezia Chloe. She launched this ethical clothing company at only 16 which is amazing. And I also have this hoodie which I actually haven't worn once since being back at university. I wear it at home if I go outside to exercise but I don't wear it when I go to the gym. But I still really like it. It's just a really simple oatmeal coloured hoodie. So I don't actually wear sweatshirts that much, but I do have quite a few with me. So this is the first one, which is my Harry Potter Society one. This is what we wear if we do events so that people can identify who's on committee, but I always forget to wear mine. <laughs> I really just, I mean to, and then I don't. Um, I haven't actually worn this as many times as I definitely should have done and would have wanted to. Next, I've got this um, fleeced sweatshirt, which is again from that Wear 100 Club. As you can see, it's the same print as on the t-shirt. I really, really love this sweatshirt. I love that it's white. The cool thing about the Wear 100 Club is that they only make 100 of each particular item, so as not to feed into fast fashion, which is really amazing. As an English literature student, this jumper is an essential. I got this from Joni, and it's just a really simple sweatshirt, which says, great expectations in this gorgeous toweling material. Next I've got um, Jade's, again, more study wear. So this is her Mind Over Mattress sweatshirt. Um, I just love how cozy this is. It's 
so warm and oversized. Then I've got my Millennial Coffee Club um, hoodie, which I bought from Eve. As I said, I don't really wear sweatshirts or hoodies, but I like to put them on before bed. Next, I've got this velvet knitted cropped jumper with a slight turtleneck and I got this again from H&M last year. I really do like this. I don't know, I just really like wearing velvet. Next, I've got this very, very simple knitted jumper in mustard yellow orange, which is just really nice and autumnal. Here's the next jumper, again, very simple. It's um, slightly oversized and um, just really warm and cozy. This next item is this really lovely um, Johnny B cricket jumper. Even though it's technically kid sizes, um, the age 13 to 14 I think is the equivalent of a 6 to an 8 and then the 15 to 16 is like an 8 to a 10. I've got this Argyle jumper which just has a shirt collar attached to it. This really simple oatmeal mall thin jumper. Again, this is another of my favourite pieces. This is just a really nice thin jumper from Mango. This is the first of my jacket, this tweed biker jacket. And I've also got my Can Be Kind pin on. If you're interested in purchasing one of these pins, I do sell them on my website and 100% of profits go to charity. So ditch the label, which is an anti-discrimination children's charity. They are just doing such amazing work. Next, I've got this fleece jacket. Um, I get so many questions about this. This was actually originally from Primark, but I bought it on Depop. This is my last jacket. This is again from Miss Patina, and it's just got this lovely, gorgeous um, tapestry print on it. And this jacket here is a bomber jacket. Love this so much. And you'll see later that I've got a pair of matching shorts for it. So it's like a suit. So next is this beautiful skirt from Miss Patina. So beautiful. So I actually love this so much that I ended up getting the same one in grey. So as I said, I have the matching tapestry shorts. Next I've got this very simple black skate skirt. If you watch my videos regularly, you will know that these are my favourite, favourite bottoms. I'm sorry, I can't get the angle quite right for this. These are the unicycle culottes. The no, cat cycle culottes from Miss Patina. Skyline print with cats on various bicycles and unicycles and penny farthing. Next is this Hollister skirt and this is very, very simple but very summery so I haven't actually worn it recently. So I used to wear this skirt in pretty much every single one of my videos. Recently, not so much. Next, I've got these shorts. These are culotte shorts. I love these. These are from Benetton. I think I got them for £5 on sale. Next, we've got these trousers from Jules. These are just a really nice navy, kind of like, almost canvasy material. They're pretty baggy, um, but I actually really like that. These were meant to be skinny jeans, but I ended up getting a size up so that they wouldn't be skinny jeans. <laughs> Next, I've got these white jeans. I wear these quite a lot, mainly in spring or summer. These are the next trousers. These are really nice um, burgundy cord. And um, funny story actually, I bought these from New Look last year and when I came out of the changing room, I complimented this girl on a jumper that she, she was trying on and the lady who was working there was like, oh, that was really kind of you. And she gave me a gift voucher so that I got, I think it was like 20% off these trousers, which was really, really lovely of her. And it's a prime example that kindness is paid forwards. The last thing I've got here is this pair of floaty, <laughs> I don't even know what these are called, they're like pleated trousers. They're very nice <laughs> and they make you feel very cool when you're wearing them. The last thing I've got here is this, what would you call it? Like It's like dungarees but not, it's like a jumpsuit dungaree jumpsuit. This is homemade by someone in a market in London and I just love it. It uses recycled vintage material, so it's kind of true vintage material, but she's just made it into this really nice pinafore and it's nice and oversized. Usually these will be way too long. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching and remember that I've got some lookbooks coming soon as well. If you're interested, um, there are four themed lookbooks which I'm filming over the next week, which is really exciting. I really love putting together vintage inspired outfits. I hope that you have a productive week.